Well, yesterday was not a record breaker, but it was still very warm for this time of the year. The official high at the airport was 78 degrees. Now we forecasted 80, which would have broken the record of 79, but a little bit more cloud cover helped keep the temperature down a little bit, but that's still way above average. We should be near 61 degrees this time of the year and woof, but at least that's done and over with. We're getting back to October. Football game this Saturday. It is Jamestown versus McKinley at McKinley. So if you're going to Buffalo to the game, there is a chance for an isolated rain shower through the day, but it's going to be chilly, 47 only to 51 throughout the game. So bring that sweater because it will be just a tad bit chilly out there for the game. Let's take a look at future scan for the remainder of today. The widespread rig we've had is moving from west to east and it's starting to taper off. But there is the chance of a few isolated to scattered rain showers today, dry tonight, and then a few more rain showers for tomorrow will come our way after the presence of that cold front and that cold front's knocking us down. See what that cold front does. It knocks our temperatures down to the 50s. We're going to bottom out today into the 50s for most areas. Those temps go in the wrong direction. Uh, pretty much everybody here is going to be in the 50s to end the day after our temperatures occurred very early uh, in the morning this morning. So as we look ahead to Friday, 52 degrees. We'll look at that low I've got on the graphic, 39 degrees Saturday morning. This will likely be our first frost of the season. So if you have any tender plants, bring them inside or cover them as also another frost could be possible Sunday morning with that uh, with that low of 38. And then we go into the 50s and then the lows continue into the 30s in the next week. So the growing season is coming to an end and hey, it's finally October. It's behaving the way it should.